This new series is gonna be about injecting AI into existing software to find out if it can be useful or not. So think LLMs, Vision, Audio. Today we are starting with the terminal. In my case, this is PowerShell. So let me show you how this works. This video was sponsored by HubSpot. Okay, so uh, there was a few things I wanted this to have. So the first thing I wanted to have was some kind of autocomplete. Uh, so when I go CD, let's say Pi, I can just click Tab and we can go directly to this, right? So this can be very, yeah, you can speed up things, right? So yeah, I kind of like that. That was done by something called Intelligence, IntelliSense, I think. So that was pretty easy to set up. And the next part is I wanted to kind of include, yeah, some kind of intelligence. So I went for this. Uh, so if we type the command uh, ask open AI and yeah, we can just auto complete this and you can see we can fire up a query here inside this. Uh, uh, so if we can just ask something like when was uh, PowerShell uh, invented? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just ask something. You can do anything. So PowerShell was invented by in 2006 by Microsoft. Okay, so you can see this works great. Okay, so that was one of the things I wanted to integrate. So basically you can ask anything and you can kind of combine this. So let's say I wanted to find out uh, some kind of command. So let's just think of something. So let's just go, how can I speed up a video 10 times using FFmpeg? So this is a very hard library to use, FFmpeg. They have all these hard bash commands here. Okay, so you can see we get this suggestion here. So I can just copy that, right? Paste it in here. So when I click Control Enter now, we're gonna send this command here to OpenAI. OpenAI explains, this command uses FFmpeg to speed up the video by a factor of 10. So every single command we kind of type in. Oops. So yeah, we can just do like, Python 1 million.py control enter this command runs a Python script named 1 million pi okay so every single thing we do uh, click control enter on that is in our timeline here and uh, we're gonna get an explanation of so this is kind of stated in my prompt that I'm gonna show you so yeah this is all of the the uh, tools I kind of built into this now so yeah I find it pretty cool so far uh, so we're gonna use it later in the video. So now I just want to go through kind of how you can set this up yourself So yeah, basically our tutorial, but first let me tell you about today's sponsor HubSpot Let's talk about supercharging your productivity using gen AI So today's sponsor HubSpot has put together a free incredible ebook called using gen AI to scale your content operations It's a great read for anyone trying to leverage AI and take their content generation to the next level One standout section is all about rolling AI out across your team so HubSpot breaks down exactly how to integrate Gen AI capabilities into your existing workflows to boost efficiency without disrupting how your team already works. They showcase features like the AI writing assistant to help you crush writer's block and an AI powered content ID generator to kickstart those brainstorming sessions. But what really impressed me is how it enables you to quickly expand and adapt content across multiple formats and channels. Imagine being able to create high quality content in a fraction of the time it used to take. That is the power of generative AI outline in this ebook. So if you want to create amazing content faster and more efficiently, you gotta check out HubSpot's ebook. Just click the link in the description and get your free copy today. A big thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to the project. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, follow the link in the description and go here to the GitHub page I created for this uh, AI terminal. So you can see the first step we're gonna do is actually clone this. Uh, but I thought we can make a folder actually to clone this in. So let's say, mm, I don't know how I can create a new folder in PowerShell. So let's just use our ask OpenAI command. So how can I create a new folder in PowerShell in my CVD, right? Okay, so let's try that. Uh, okay, new item, uh, name new folder. Okay, so let's copy this, great. I want to name it, uh, let's say, AI Terminal. Okay. Yeah, good. Then we can CD AI Terminal. Okay, great. Now we can actually just run our Git clone, right? Okay, so let's copy that. Let's clone into this terminal. Okay, good. 
Okay, so if I open up my folder here, you can see we have my module and we have the PowerShell profile. So if we take a look at this, you can see this is how my module looks here in the code, right? So here you can see all the system message we are using and what model we are using. We are using 3.5 Turbo, max tokens, and we can set a whole different parameters here. Our query, explain what this command does, right? So here you can do all these adjustments. Here is our PowerShell profile. Here you can also do some adjustment like key bindings from PS readline and stuff. So you can play around with this if you wanted to make this more your own uh, thing, right? Okay, so good. So now we actually have both of these files we need, but now we need to place them in the correct folders, right? Okay, so the first path I want to find is actually, uh, we can just start by asking OpenEye, what is the PowerShell command to find your current PowerShell module? So here we can actually find, uh, okay, so it's a get module list available. Uh, okay, so let's run that. So here you can see, uh, we want to look for PowerShell 7, right? Here you can see directory, uh, program files, PowerShell 7 and modules. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So my module, here is where I want to place my file. Okay, so good. So now I kind of have this path. Great. So let me just go find that. Okay, so here you can see we are in PowerShell 7. Let's click on modules. You can see we have my module. Okay, so I'm going to click here. And yeah, here you can see uh, my module. Uh, you can see I already have it here. So you just want to copy this over here, right? So I'm not going to do that, but yeah, you can do that. So perfect. That is our first path set. And while you are on this path, let's uh, just copy this. So I'm just going to copy this path as text. And let's go back to our PowerShell profile because you want to set your module path up here. So you can see here I set the path. I can zoom in a bit. So you can see program files, PowerShell 7, modules, my module. And here I kind of paste it in, my module.psm1. So this every time we start uh, the terminal now, you can see we are actually going to import this. So it's get loaded every single time we fire up this. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is find out where we actually should place our PowerShell profile. So let's just head back here to the terminal. Let's clear this. And we can go code dollar, star, dollar sign profile. Okay, so this will probably pop up in my VS Code Studio. So you can see it here. And when we right click here now, just click uh, reveal file in file explorer. Okay, here you can see this is our path to our PowerShell profile. So if we go back here now to the AI terminal, we could just copy our profile over to this folder, right? So I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, that is basically how you place uh, the folders you got from my GitHub into the correct folders in PowerShell. Okay, so just a few steps left. So the next part is, yeah, we're going to open our terminal. We already have that, so that's good. Now we need to install some modules. So just grab this. So let's run install module uh, PS Open AI. And just click uh, enter, right? I already have this installed, so that should be, yeah, shouldn't take long. Okay, and we want to grab this PS read line, install this, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just want to say yes here. I'm just going to say no because I already have it installed. Okay, good. And that is basically it. Uh, I suggest after you've done that, just restart the term terminal, right? And you should be good to go here. You can see if you get any errors up here, you probably have something has happened. Uh, but I think this is good. At least I have had no issues with this, right? Uh, okay, so if you go back to the GitHub here, here you can kind of see an overview of all the commands I have added so far. So we have ask OpenAI, use tab to autocomplete, uh, control space to shuffle, and control enter to ask OpenAI about commands, right? So yeah, I think it's pretty useful, right? Uh, what I like about it is, let's say I forget something. Uh, these shell commands can be very hard to remember, so I often go like maybe ask OpenAI uh, what is the PowerShell command to 
delete a folder or something like that. And you get this answer pretty much instant, right? So remove item and yeah, you can just select whatever you want, right? Uh, of course, the color scheme, if you're interested in that, this is just something I set up here in settings. Uh, so you can look at that and adjust to your needs. So just one more thing, uh, what I found very useful is let's say we go get and we can do get dash. So when I press uh, control space now, you can see we can shuffle through all of these different commands, right? So let's say, I don't know what uh, this is. Then I can just con shift from control space to control enter, right? And we get this PowerShell commands retrieves the name, resolution, policy, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea what that is, right? And we can continue. We can just go back here. And yeah, let's try something else. App package, control enter. And this get app package command shall retrieve this information about the install application package. Okay, so let's uh, run that, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, something happened. So yeah, I, I found it pretty interesting. And I think injecting AI into the terminal has been very helpful for me. Especially with these difficult commands like... Uh, uh, I think kind of shell commands are a bit difficult to remember. But like uh, FFmpeg and this are very hard to remember. And yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. And yeah, hope you find it interesting. So yeah, uh, if you think this was cool, check out the GitHub here. You can just, yeah, follow the tutorial. And if you have any good ideas, let me know. Put in some issues, pull request, give it a star if you like it. Uh, I also want to think, uh, what do you think about these episodes where we try to inject AI into different software? I found it pretty interesting. And I think I'm going to do a few more episodes on this. I have some ideas. But please, if you have any cool ideas where uh, we want to try to inject LLMs, vision models, audio, image generation or something like that, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Have a great day and I'll see you again on Sunday.